Good morning, Faith Explorers. I hope you all are doing really well. It was awesome to see some of you at our movie night last night. We have a couple more events coming up in April and May, so I hope to see all of you soon. So for today's lesson, we are continuing our lectionary series that we started last week. And so we're reading a new story every day um, that corresponds to the story of the church year. And before we get into our story, we are going to sing our song of the month with Alicia. So go ahead and sing that song along with her here. Hello, Faith Explorers. My name is Ms. Alicia, and we are going to get ready to sing this morning. This song is called Let It Rise. Um, I'm so excited to sing it with you, so I encourage you once you uh, learn parts of the song or, or learn a little bit, you can start humming and singing along with me, okay? Let it rise. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed singing that song. Today, we're going to move on to our reading, which is called The Good Shepherd. Now, if you have your Spark Bible at home, go ahead and pull that out. We are on page 436, and it looks like this. So, Jesus wanted people to know that he would always love them and take care of them. He called himself the Good Shepherd and told people that they were like sheep. Some people didn't understand, so Jesus told them this story. This little lamb was lost. Bah, said the little lamb, bah. The sun slowly slid out of sight. And here is this little sheep here in the corner and his eyes are really big because he looks afraid because he is lost. The little lamb shivered in the cold night air. He smelled danger. Nearby, a hungry wolf hid behind a thorny bush. Bah, cried the little lamb. Down in the valley, a shepherd guarded his flock of sheep, watching and listening. The angel slept peacefully in the cold green grass. A small stream delicately danced in the evening breeze. A gust of wind swept across the valley. The shepherd paused. Bah, he heard in the distance. He knew the voice of his little lamb. Even though it was dark, the shepherd started up the rocky path that led towards the lost lamb. Don't be afraid, the shepherd called out. I will find you. I will keep you safe. The little lamb heard the shepherd's voice. Slowly, he stumbled down the path. A branch scraped his leg. Bah, he cried out. The little lamb was still scared. He waited and waited for the shepherd to find him. When the shepherd reached the lamb, he gently picked him up and held him close. There you are, said the shepherd. I have found you. I will carry you home. And here's the silly picture here at the bottom of the sheep crying out um, because he was scared. He was separated from all the other sheep, but eventually the shepherd came and found him. So after he told this story, Jesus said, see, I am a shepherd too. Just like a good sheep cares for each and every sheep in the flock, 
I care for each and every one of you. And so here is the picture of the shepherd holding his little sheep that he found. And so we're reading the story today because we are reminded that Jesus is like a shepherd to us. So when we are lost and we need comfort and we need safety, we can go to Jesus just like the sheep went to the shepherd. So take a couple minutes with your family or whoever you're watching this video with and think about who is like a shepherd in your life, who has guided you and who has helped you when you felt afraid. All right, so now we're gonna move on to a craft. So go ahead and follow along with that here. So for today's craft, we are making little sheep. For this craft, you'll need some scissors, some glue or a glue stick, some cotton balls, as many as you want, a plain piece of paper of any color, and a black piece of paper, or you can color yours black like I did here. So to start out, I'm gonna take my plain piece of paper and I'm going to spread out the cotton balls um, like I'm doing here. So just fluff them up a little bit to make them just a little bigger so that they can lie more flat on the table. And after you've fluffed all of them up, you are going to take your glue and glue them all down in a big circle on your piece of paper. After that, I'm just sticking them down, as you can see right here. And make sure you have enough glue so that they will stick. So we're gonna set that aside for now. And now comes the fun part where we are going to make it look like a sheep. So we are going to cut out the shape of a head. So basically like a circle or an oval out of your black piece of paper like I'm doing here. And then after that, you're gonna cut two little ovals to be the ears. There's my second ear. And lastly, we're gonna cut two little shapes to look like legs. You can see the shape that I'm making them here. Kind of like an oval, but straight on one end. And we're making two of them again. After that, you're gonna bring your sheet back over and you're gonna glue the black pieces of paper on top. So you're going to glue the face right in the middle, the ears first, so that they're under the face. And then you're going to put the head right on top of it. And lastly, then you're going to grab your two legs and you're going to glue them right down at the bottom. And if you have some googly eyes, you can add those to your sheep or draw them, but I didn't have any. And there's your sheep. All right, Faith Explorers, I hope you enjoyed that craft. We are going to end with our word of prayer. And as usual, go ahead and check our two virtual boards, our celebration board and our prayer request board and see what people are up to and see how we can pray for members of our community. And so as always, I'm gonna put my hands up in the middle and you're gonna feel free to share um, whatever you would like to pray for during this time. So please pray for me. Awesome God, thank you for gathering us again today to learn another lesson. Today we learned that Jesus is like a shepherd to us. And when we are feeling lost, we can lean on Jesus to find us and lead us in the right direction. God, we also know that there are a lot of things going on in the world right now and a lot of things that we would like to pray for. God, we would like to pray for these things today. God, we know that you hear all of our prayers, both those spoken aloud and those still in our hearts. Continue to watch over us like the shepherd that you are. 
um, and we love you. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, Faith Explorers, that is it for our lesson today. So as usual, we have some coloring pages and a family worksheet in your parents' email to talk through as a family. And before you go, we have two awesome events that are coming up that I want to make sure you guys are all aware of. The first event is actually happening next Sunday, so a week from today when you're watching this. And during that event, which is on May 2nd, you will come to the 9.30 service in person at church and we will have a little Faith Explorers lesson time during the service. So that will be really exciting and I hope you all can join us. And our second event will be two or three weeks after that, which will be May 24th, I believe, the 23rd or the 24th. Um, and that event will be on Pentecost and we'll be learning about the Holy Spirit. We're going to have some fun activities learning about the wind and how the wind can carry things to us. So I hope you will join me for that and more details will be coming out soon that your parents will find out about. So that is it for today. Take care. I'll see you next week. Bye.